What's up guys, Pixel Sammy here and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the book pump effect in Final Cut Pro. So you have seen couple of effects like this, like the door knob effect or the elevator effect or many effect like this and the main concept remains the same that is masking. So in this video I'm going to show it using the book and I'm going to call it the book pump effect. So with that being said, let's get started. So in Final Cut Pro, I have taken two clips, first a book which is opening and a drone footage from a stock website. So just find the point where the book is just going to open and then drag the drone footage below it and then cut the drone footage on the point where the book portion is ending. And I'm going to trim this. And then find the portion where the book is just going to open. And use the blade tool to cut that area. Then go to effects. Type in mask. And drag the draw mask onto the clip. And then start adding the points on the paper portion or the opening portion. Then in the inspector panel, click on invert mask and set a keyframe to control point and to the position. And then go frame by frame and keep on doing the masking. I have shown it in couple of my videos, going frame by frame like the frame blocking and many other. So you need to go frame by frame until you cover the whole book. And this might take some time so I will suggest to take your own time in doing this. Okay, so after rendering, what you can do is you can put a color gradient filter onto the drone footage. I'm going to place a LUT on this. I'm going to use a brown LUT or a teal and orange LUT so that it blends in properly with the book clip. Because the book clip is brown in color and it isn't green in color, it is not blending well. So I need to do the blending properly. Then after rendering, I'm going to just drag the drone footage a little bit on the left side and then on the upper one, on the book one, just go to the almost to the ending of the clip and set a keyframe to the scale and to the position and then go to the ending and then set a keyframe to the scale and position again and change the scale all the way to as much as possible and then change the position so that the whole skin is covered and then you get a zoom effect, zoom out effect just let it render and then if, if you want to change the keyframes just a little bit you can play with this in the video animation setting just to make it a little more smoother you see it's much more smoother and better and then use a cross dissolve transition onto the clip the drone one so that the transition between the brown color gradient and the green is properly done and the blending is much more proper and much more gradual than a suddenly brown to green transition and then you can play with the feather also so that the edges are properly covered i have kept it around 11 or 12 it is much better than normal and then after rendering This is what it looks. Now what you can do is you can color grade the original ground footage also. It is a raw footage I guess. So I can color grade it and you can change the timing of the transition also to make it a much more gradual process. Yeah it is much more gradual now. And I'm going to color grade the drone footage just a little bit. Just a little change in the exposure and on the curves. Mm -hmm. 
So that is pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And if you are into cinematography, photography and filmmaking and all those other stuff then my channel is just for you. If you like my content then please consider subscribing to my channel and press the red button and the bell button. And with that being said, this is Pixel Sammy signing out. Peace out. Peace out.